All right, so in the last video, we started working and we got up our ceiling kind of set up and good to go. We set it up in our building visual, and now we want to set it up inside of our actual building here. So our BP building. So what we need to do is head over to our building.h, and we're going to add another instanced static mesh component. And this one's going to be named ceiling. So ceiling instanced mesh. We're going to go to our constructor. And as always, create default sub object, U instance static mesh component, and we're going to name it ceiling instance static mesh component. So once we do that, let's go ahead and relaunch and see where we're at. All right, once we're back here, let's go ahead and actually, do we? Yeah, we do. Go to BP building, go to our ceiling, and for the static mesh, that is going to be our ceiling. So we can compile and save, and let's just see. So we place it down, we have the ceiling, foundation, and wall. Can't place the ceiling anywhere, can only place the foundation where we have the sockets filtered like so. Same thing for the wall, can't place the wall anywhere other than except for these spots, but we can only place the ceiling up here. And that just placed down the foundation because we have yet to set up our data structure to contain our new build type. So let's head over to our data types. We're going to add another one, and this one's going to be ceiling. Just like so. That's all you got to do. We can close and relaunch. Then once we're back here, we can go ahead and reopen that asset. So our BP building visual. Go to our ceiling index, change it from foundation to ceiling, compile and save, and let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, so we are missing our building, and it's not placing where we need it to go. So let's see, I feel like I'm probably missing something simple. So we go to spawn building, we add an instance, and we pass in the build type. So let's go to add instance. And that's because we never set up our switch statement. So we just got to add one more case, and that's going to be for the ceiling. And all we do is use our ceiling instance mesh instead. Like that. That's literally it. And I believe that is all we have to do. So we have to do pretty much three things anytime we want to add a new part. So now let's try it. And there we go. We now have our ceiling being, you know, placeable. So what we can do now is set it up so our ceiling contains meshes, or contains sockets. So let's go ahead and open up our ceiling mesh. So here, let's go ahead and add a socket. And this one's going to be indexed with W, and I'm going to call it WPOS0. And it's going to contain a wall. Simple enough. I'm going to Alt and drag. This one's going to be POS1. This one is going to be POS2. Actually, how did I set up the foundation for that? I feel like I did that in a much better way. Yeah, I did. I'm just being stupid. Ooh, which one am I dragging? There we go. So, and I want this one to be... This one's going to be POS1. Okay, I'm getting my names mixed up. We have position 0 right here. I want position 1 to be that guy. And actually, I need to bump these up by 10 so they sit on top, like so. And then from position 1, we want to have another. That is going to be position 2. And then... I need to move this pen that way. And then we're going to have the final one. That will be position 3. So that covers all of them. So rename this one to POS or WPOS3. And save it. So now let's check this out. Place on the foundation. Place on the wall. 
And I'm actually going to place down another foundation like right here so I can jump up on it pretty easy. Place down the wall. Or sorry, the ceiling. And then if we jump up on the ceiling, switch to the wall, we can now position and place down walls on our ceiling. And then from here, same thing. We can place down our our uh, what you might call it, our ceiling, pretty much in any of these corners. This one's going to be a probably a bit of a pain. There we go. So as you can see, we have a corner there, and they all position in the same way. And now I am pretty much just I'm stuck. So we need a way to destroy instances, which we kind of already have, but we just need to improve it. So there we go. We now have our ceiling set up. And realistically, the only thing you have to do to set up new parts now is one, make a component for it. And I never actually set it up to add them, so I kind of want to set this up to add unique, uh, which will be a little bit more expensive, but it only has to run that one initial time, so it's not a big deal. But that'll prevent us from having duplicate socket names, so it's going to kind of be iterating. It's going to be having more elements to loop over, which I don't want. So all you have to do is add the component. We're going to make sure we add it to the uh, socket names. So we're going to do that now. So instead of wall instance mesh, we're just going to use the ceiling instance mesh like that. Even though the names are the same, we're going to end up fixing this up to where it only adds unique names. Then we just have to go to data types, add it as a type, and nothing needs to be done in building visual. The last thing we need to do is add the inst and add instance, add a case for it. So here we have one for the ceiling, so that way it finds it. And then realistically, in building visual, you just add the building type. And it's as simple as that. So you can add new parts very quickly and very easily. And then you just got to set up the sockets on them for whatever you want to, you know, have spawn on them. So that is going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.